Uh, in this tutorial, what I want to do is uh, just cover details like uh, gutters and downpipes, um, things like that, um, ridge cappings. Um, there is there's a number of ways you could do this, but I think by far the best way to do it is through a uh, an add-on you can get uh, by Cat Image. It's a New Zealand-based company that designs um, add-on little programs to ArchiCAD. Um, you, as a student, you can get uh, Cat Image for free in the same place that you got the ArchiCAD software from the myarchicad.com. If you follow the links to Cat Image, you can download the install files and uh, and follow the instructions. If it once installed correctly, you get a Cat Image pull-down menu. Now, the way um, it will work, you can either do this on the floor plan or in 3D. Uh, it's probably clearer to see what I'm going to do in 3D. Um, the dialog box itself is relatively complicated. Um, so, uh, let, let's go through it. Um, I won't go through everything, but you'll be able to follow the things that I change. So, the first thing you need to do once you've drawn your roof is to select the roof itself um, and things have changed slightly in version 16 but if you go to the CAD image pull down menu down to coverings and roof coverings um, you get this dialog box um, and you can go through um, oh, it looks it looks very similar to the ArchiCAD uh, other ArchiCAD dialog boxes um, it has a CAD image interface here where you can go through a number of uh, parts of the dialog box and choose how you want your roofing, uh, your gutters, your downpipes all to look. Um, and the, the, the first important one is this one, cladding. Um, and each one of these has got three different sections to it. Uh, so for example, under cladding, we can choose tiles, we can choose uh, um, corrugated iron, different uh, types of tiles and different types of corrugated iron. Um, I've chosen tiles, and you can specify the sizes. You can uh, choose materials um, and pens. Now with the pens, I went through and chose custom settings and I've gone through and chosen uh, these pins. Now, if you want, you can just uh, follow my lead there and just copy in your dialog boxes the same settings I have there for pins. Um, in framing, if you wanted to, Arky um, Cat Image will throw in all the purlins um, underneath the, the uh, tiles or the corrugated iron. I have chosen in this part of the dialog box not to include the framing okay but if you do I mean you can experiment with it um, you can choose the materials and the pens and so on okay um, edge boards it it's referring to fascias and barge boards and you can choose the sizes uh, the materials again and the pens that you want to use it the suffete, the eaves suffete, you can choose from uh, rate eaves or flat eaves, the size of the eaves and so on. Okay, And you can adjust those once you put them in place. Flashings, things like uh, um, ridge, the ridge cappings, I've got a tile roof, so I've picked uh, this type of ridge capping. And again, you can pick a material and a pen weight. Um, but you can also choose from a number of other barge flashings how you want to treat those uh, hip, apron flashings, uh, valley, and so on. Yeah, gutters. You've got the choice. Uh, you can go through and specify your downpipes. I've picked a rectangular downpipe of these dimensions. Uh, you can change your dialog box to suit mine if you like. Uh, gutters. Um, display order is a good one. Um, depending on which story you put your roof in, 
um, will depend on how you want to look at your roof on the different stories and you have um, how to view the plan um, in your home story that is the story you put the roof in um, or above your home story or below your home story so you might want to again set your settings the same as mine um, and then once all those things are done it will remember these by the way so if I say OK and come back the settings are just like I left them so once I say OK um, CAD image does its magic and it throws a beautiful uh, roof covering over the roof including things like uh, uh, fascias, gutters um, and it does a absolutely fantastic job at doing it. Um, and it covers all the uh, the parts of the roof that you need. Um, town pipes are a little tricky. Um, you what you do is you select uh, the roof, and you'll notice that there is a little purple dot just there on all the planes of the roof. You'll see it there. There it is over here. Well, if I select my roof and I initiate a stretch command, under edit you can go to uh, reshape and stretch. The keyboard command is control H, so I could have used that as well. Um, but you grab that dot and as you start to drag it in, it drags a downpipe in for you. Okay. Um, the size, and you notice it's put in uh, the brackets and uh, a whole lot of things. You can also stretch the downpipe. So if I use the keyboard control H, I can grab that little purple dot and stretch that downpipe up and down until it hits the ground, which is a uh, another great feature. But that's uh, that's by far, I think, the best way to get Archicad to put those sorts of details in. Um, and on plan, it does, uh, well, because I've put, I've chosen not to show uh, the roof in the home story. If I had another story above this one, I would be able to see the roof. Uh, there's the downpipe I've put in. Uh, you can also grab that downpipe and, uh, and uh, stretch control H. I can stretch that downpipe back to the wall and adjust that. Okay. The um, best thing to do is slowly go through those dialog boxes I showed you and uh, set yours the same as mine. Try it out and maybe experiment with some changes and see how you go.